Okay, today I'd like to show you a great way to get up those stairs. This is one of my favorite Feldenkrais fitness exercises. So it's one of those where you want your leg muscles to do the work, but you want your spine, your upper body to relax so you can almost float up the stairs, okay? So I'm going to start with my right foot forward. And I'll drop my weight into both legs, but my left leg has more weight in the foot. And I'm just going to rock the spine and the pelvis forward and back. So I want the pelvis to stay level, but I'm just sitting in my hip joints. Relaxing the legs, but feeling the weight transfer through the feet. So left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And lo and behold, if I weight that right foot, the left foot can push, the right foot can push, and then the left foot comes up. So we can do all that on the other side, but for time's sake, we're just going to continue with this side. So the same thing. Just rocking forward to feel the change of weight. Left foot, right foot. Then I can actually bring it up on the next step. And you'll notice as I do this, there's a slight rotation of the spine. Left, right. So my spine rotates to the right. You can think of just turning your belly button a little bit. Left, right. And turn. Now I'm going to add the arms to it. So if I start with my arms up, basically I just want to relax the arms and the whole spine. So it's just my spine drops through the pelvis, drops through the legs, and I feel my feet. So I just drop the arms, feet push, and I come up. Slight rotation. So that's a homolateral walk, the same side, right? Everybody's talking about the homolateral way of walking, and it's really going to change your mind. Same foot, that side comes forward. So now I'm going to change the arms. We're going to start crossed, but I still want to feel that the upper body relaxes and the spine drops. The hips release, and I feel my feet. Left foot, right foot. And you'll see that when I drop the spine, the arms kind of get swung of the movement of the spine and the pelvis. I don't want to swing my arms. Because you can't really swing. You can only get swung. So I'll start crossed, relax, and lo and behold, I'm on the next step. Now, of course, you're doing this on the other leg, going back and forth. So we're starting cross. So I want to get swung up these stairs, just relaxing up the stairs, really making those leg muscles work. 